And welcome back. Uh, news talk for this half hour. Our guest is a very smart cookie right here, Colleen Bierstein, the yes. smart cookie cook. Mm -hmm. Thank you for coming in. I know, uh, in, in case you haven't seen Colleen on our air before, she's a local food blogger that actually attends Utica College, mm -hmm. about to graduate real soon. Yes, in December. Good for you. Any plans? You want to stay in the area? I do want to stick around. So the job search is underway. Yes. Yes, but I'm but the good. cooking continues. The cooking always continues. And today you have a, a very uh, special Thanksgiving treat, and uh, I guess just what are they called? First off, we have mini pies here, and there's three different flavors from one recipe. Mm -hmm. So there's chocolate, pumpkin, and apple. Wow! And you start off with a crust. You start off with a simple, already pre-made crust dough. Mm -hmm. You make the filling base, and from that you get your three different flavors. And explain the three different flavors that you have here got a very creamy, rich chocolate, mm -hmm. a spiced pumpkin, and some apple as well. Wow. So and all the fall flavors. Beautiful. And I know we have the ingredients for folks. Uh, let's put those up on the screen right there. And let, let, let's talk about uh, the preparation for this. Is it, is it difficult? No. I, I always aim for simpler things, especially for Thanksgiving. You have enough to stress about as it is. <laughs> this, the crust is the only thing you have to bake. The filling is no bake, and mm -hmm. you can make it in 20 minutes or less. Wow. And, and check out those ingredients. Take us through the process. Of, uh, of actually uh, putting this together? Sure. So you have to prepare that instant pudding for the filling. Then you fold in whipped cream, mascarpone, and all the rest of the ingredients there. Divide that filling into three, and you'll add your chocolate to one, mm -hmm. pumpkin puree to another, and apple to a third. Wow. And there's your three fillings. You just pipe them right in or scoop them into the pre made crust. And any other tips for folks out there who? Uh, Maybe want some other uh, quick treats for Thanksgiving to take with them? Well, certainly they can find tons of recipes on my website, thesmartcookiecook.com. And always remember for Thanksgiving, making ahead is a must to save yourself some sanity. And that's for sure. And, and let's give a try to one of these. I know Jill has dibs on uh, one of the chocolate ones, so <laughs> I think that's what I'm going to start with as well. All right. Mm mm mm. It is See creamy. How rich it is? Oh my goodness. And it is messy. Without napkins. Should have done it in one bite. Would have saved you the mess. Yeah, I'm a small bite kind of guy. <laughs> okay. I don't like to have this big old bite in my mouth. So, <laughs> so you're coming in next month uh, yes, with yes. a special uh, Christmas recipe. Yeah, I'll be back in December for Christmas time. Any uh, teas for our viewers on what you might bring in? Um, I have to talk about Christmas cookies, and uh, it's gonna be that time of year. Beautiful. Well, check those out once again. They are quite. Uh, wonderful, and we're going to put that recipe up on our own website as well as yours. One more time for the folks out there, your res uh, your uh, website is thesmartcookiecook.com. Easy enough. Mm -hmm. And stay with us. We're back to wrap things up right after this. Wonderful job.